we've been training these young people on the skills of hedge laying, which is an old rural craft which is unfortunately dying back. If that hedgerow was just left, it would become just a line of straggly trees. You do it by using a hatchet to cut at the bottom of the tree, making a hinge till you have 20% of the tree left, and then you fold it over going uphill. It's going to have a big impact on the landscape and the nature and the wildlife that uses them, but then it's also going to have an impact on the volunteers that are out enjoying it. It's nice to encourage young people to come along and have a go. And it's a new experience and I've learned so much in the short amount of time that I've been here. I deliver free family and nature events throughout the year, so these are all activities aimed at local families. This afternoon the children have all been on a welly walk up to Clarion House where they've all had fun dissecting owl pellets and finding all the bones, trying to work out what animals they were from, so they've had a wonderful time. We had to put the owl pellets in water, then with two cocktail sticks we tried to pull it apart to see what it has been eaten. We found some little leg bones of a vole and we've even found a skull so we were quite impressed. It was a great opportunity for families to look at what happens in nature, a great opportunity to also see food chains in action. Out and about in the outdoors, best place for them. They've absolutely adored it so they've learnt loads. We're at Clarion House and this is one of our wildlife discovery sites. So we're doing lots of different bits of habitat management. Trying to keep it as natural as possible, but intervene when, when it's necessary uh, and really keep it as wild and as open as we can. The hedge bit has just been laid and that's to help to maintain the new growth in the hedgerow. And behind us here we've got a piece um, that was dominated by rushes and we're restoring back to a species rich flower rich hay meadow. In the other direction we've been doing some scrub control so we've had lots of different volunteers coming out and we've also been able to use a lot of the different habitats here for school groups as well. I was commissioned to design and create 12 stones that are going to go around the trig point on Pendle Hill. So this week we've had the stones on display, but this will be the only time that people can see every perspective on them because they're going to be buried with just the top face showing. I wanted to make it about people and nature and I think that's, that really stood out as what was important. Today has been fun learn about history, that's not the Pendle Witches. We've done some rubbing and we've made some wildflowers in a pot. I particularly liked the cotton stone where you've got the warp and the weft on one side and that'll be the side that everybody will be able to see but actually the cotton flower will be the bit that's buried in it almost sort of represents the fact that the cotton industry has disappeared. The great thing about what artists can bring to the programme overall is a bit of fresh perspective, they're really good at sort of looking at things in unusual ways. One of the main aspects of the Pendle Winds project is to create woodlands like this alongside rivers. So we're planting just over 11,000 trees over the four different sites that we've got this winter. When you get the number to begin with you think, oh my gosh, that's a lot of trees to plant. But then you get to the end and you think, wow, and it's just a sense of achievement. We couldn't plant thousands of trees without the help of volunteers, so we have lots of members of the public who come out twice a week with us to plant trees. We also have a lot of help from local community groups, and we've had a lot of school groups come out recently, which is really great for us, but also really great for the children. It's definitely helped me become a more happier, more positive person through the project, because you're doing something so positive, and it offers a different perspective of the landscape that you've grown up in.